One of the best new features from iOS 16 is iCloud Shared Photo Library. You can invite those close to you to actually create a shared library in your Photos app where you can choose what photos you both share and you can even decide when you're taking a photo in the camera app whether you want it to go to your personal library or the shared library. Here's how to set up and use iCloud Shared Photo Library on your iPhone. Anyone you invite to your iCloud Shared Photo Library can have equal access to adding photos, but the main or hosted account will be where storage is taken from. So whoever starts the iCloud Shared Photo Library, their iCloud storage will be used for the shared portion. So on the iPhone with the iCloud account that you'd like to host the shared library, go to the Settings app and then go down to Photos. You'll see here Shared Library is ready to set up. Tap there and you'll see the Getting Started screen. Now you can only have one shared library. That means you can't have one shared library with this person and then a different shared library with other people. You only get one shared iCloud photo library. If you have any devices not running the latest macOS, iOS, or iPadOS, you'll see a warning here. That means videos and photos in the shared library will not be available there. Hit continue anyway. Now you're ready to add participants. Again, you can invite up to five people, whether they're in your iCloud family or not. I'm going to choose Add Participants, and I'm going to choose to add my spouse. Hit Add. Again, you can add up to five people, but I'm only going to add her for right now. And this is her iPhone, and we'll see what happens when we send this request. Hit Next. Now here, you can actually choose to share all of your past photos and videos, only choose specific people or from a certain date, or choose photos manually to start sharing. I'm going to choose manually. You can also choose to move photos later and not do this at all. Now we recently went to the beach, so I'm going to choose a few photos of me and my kids, choose some videos as well. We'll choose a few more and hit Add. Now you can choose to preview the photos you've selected for the shared library. You'll see this is what the shared library will look like to the other person you invite. When you're ready, hit continue. And now we're ready to invite the other person to our shared library. I'm going to choose to invite via messages. It'll automatically populate a text message to my spouse. And you'll see she's now received a notification, a text message with that link. On my wife's phone, I'm going to click view the invitation. And you'll see this is the shared library invitation from my iCloud account. I'm going to hit get started. Again, this is telling me any devices that are not yet on the latest OS. Of course, you can update those devices and then they'll have access to the shared library. I'm going to hit continue anyway. I'll choose manually the photos that I want to share to the shared library. I'll choose some other photos from our beach trip. Hit add. Again, you can preview what the shared library will look like with the photos I've chosen on my wife's phone. Hit continue. And now we're ready to join the shared library. I'll tap join. And now you see both phones are asking about whether you want to share from the camera. Now that the iCloud Shared Photo Library is set up, when I go to take a picture in the camera app, I can choose whether to send that photo to the shared library or my personal library. I'd like to choose manually each time, so I'm going to select Choose Manually. I'm going to select Share Manually Only. And now our shared iCloud Photo Library is ready on both devices. I'll hit Done. Once it's fully activated, when you go to your Photos app, tap this icon in the top right corner and you'll be able to switch between a combined library showing both your personal and shared photos, just your personal or just the shared library photos. When you're in the combined view, you'll see this little two-person icon for any photos and videos shared across the shared library. You can also choose to turn off the shared library badge if you don't want to see that icon. You can also go back to the Settings app and go to your photo settings, and you'll see Shared Library has more settings here. It'll show you the participants, and you can add more if you would like. You can also choose to select specific people that when there are pictures with those faces, your iPhone will automatically suggest to add those photos to the shared library. You can also choose sharing from camera, whether you want to share manually or automatically. And there's even a toggle that will use your location to share photos when you're home or keep this toggled off so that photos taken at your home are not shared in that iCloud shared photo library. Photo suggestions will also appear when those people you have chosen are geographically in the same location as you. Let's say you all go to a theme park and you all take photos at that event, then everyone a part of the iCloud Shared Photo Library will get suggestions to add those photos to the shared library, not just the personal. Finally, when you go to take a picture now with your iCloud Shared Photo Library, you'll see a tag at the top that this is going to my personal library. I can choose this icon right here, and now when I take a photo, it will automatically be added to the shared library. You can toggle this on or off, and again, change that default setting in the Settings app. That's how to set up and use iCloud Shared Photo Library in iOS 16. If you have any questions, leave a comment below this video, and subscribe to the Bearded Teacher channel. There's lots of tips and how-tos, especially in the shorts for this channel, on how to make the most of your iPhone, iPad, and Mac device. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.